Welcome to our ADM Lucid automation testing channel. We will have a series of talk about Selenium automation testing, which will help you understand the basics of Selenium and also guide you to build your own Selenium automation project. You may access our test project and guide in the description below. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for any new videos or updates. In today's video, we will talk about using Lighthouse in Selenium automation testing. First, I want to direct you attention to this, this data that we got from Google. So this data is just basically trying to outline what factors of a web page, in fact, uh, impact the user experience. We see that for 75% of the users, the speed it takes the, to load the page uh, is impactful. Whereas how easy it is to find what I'm looking for impacts 66% of users and how well the site fits my screen impacts 61% of the users, how simple the site is to use impacts 58% of the users, and how attractive the site looks affects 24% of the users. With that information, I just want to outline the importance of how quick it takes to load a page as that will impact most of the users. Because of that, we're gonna introduce Lighthouse. So what is Lighthouse? Lighthouse is an open source automated tool and a part of the Google Developer Tools suite. It is designed to improve the quality and performance of web pages by providing audits, insights, and diagnostics. Lighthouse can be used to test web pages against a set of best practices, performance metrics, and other guidelines to assess their overall quality and identify areas that are needed for improvement. So the primary performance uh, focus of Lighthouse is on web performance, accessibility, progressive web app compliance, best practices, and search engine optimization factors. It generates comprehensive reports with actionable recommendations to help developers optimize their websites and create a better user experience for their visitors. Lighthouse performs a series of audits on a web page, simulates real-world scenarios on various devices and network conditions, and then generates a report with scores and detailed information on different aspects of the page. Some of the metrics it evaluates include page load speed, which we mentioned earlier is a very important impact factor, uh, also time to interact, accessibility for users with disabilities, adherence to best practices, and PWA features like offline support and installation capacities. It has also become a valuable tool for web developers and website owners who want to ensure the websites are optimized, accessible, and user-friendly. And because of this, today in our video, we're going to show one way to integrate Lighthouse with your Selenium automation testing. Next, I'm going to show you how to install Lighthouse. So first, what you can do is you can just go to Google and then you can just search up node.js. Now, after you find this, just click download here and then just install the uh, installer for your uh, computer. So for us, this is gonna be Windows 64-bit. Okay, and now once it's downloaded, I can open it and follow the instructions. So I'm going to install node.js first. Once that is complete, you need to open the command prompt. And I'm going to do type in npm install npm and enter. So now that's going to take some time to install.
Once that is complete, I will now type npm v. And this will just show you what version of npm you install. Now, with npm, you can install Bytehouse. So just type in npm install dash g Lighthouse. Now, once that is done, we can check if the installation worked properly by typing Lighthouse help. Next, I will show you how to integrate Lighthouse into your Selenium automation test project. So first, before anything, um, we don't have to import any packages or change the pom.xml file for Lighthouse as we already installed it using node.js. So really all you need to do is you need to create first a controller class for Lighthouse and then a test class for Lighthouse afterwards. So first I'm gonna show you the controller class for Lighthouse. So we have the controller class for Lighthouse right here. And under this controller class, uh, we have a few things that I want you to notice. So the first is we have three different methods, ADM home, golf, and booking. ADM Home will test the home page of our website. Golf will test the golf page of our website. And Booking will test the booking page of our website. I want you to notice that in each of these methods, we do an instance called Runtime. And this Runtime instance allows us to run command line prompts. So for this first ADM Home method, our command line prompt that we want to run using the runtime instance is this. And we see that it calls Lighthouse onto this homepage URL. And then it also specifies the output of our file. Similarly, for the golf one, we have a similar command, except the URL is now the golf page and the output is now golf. And this is continued for the booking method as well. So now we can go to the testing class. So we can take a look at the testing class, which we have here, Lighthouse Chrome. So in this instance, we are just using the Chrome browser. We're not testing the other browsers as we have Lighthouse installed for Chrome only right now. So within this testing class, we see that we call upon the three different methods for that object. And we have ADM Home, Golf, and Booking, and it will test all three. So now I can just go ahead and run this. And we see that once it is complete, we can actually go to the folder that we specified in our Lighthouse command right here, and we can see the output. So I'm going to bring it over, and we have our outputs right here. So we have the home for the homepage method, golf for the golf method, and book for the booking method. So for instance, if I was to open the home method, we see that we get various metrics and various scorings for those metrics. We have a performance uh, metric, which scores uh, the performance, accessibility, best practices, and SEO, and so on. Under each of them, for instance, under performance here, we have other small metrics and which specifics that we can look at. So for instance, the first contentful paint takes 1.2 seconds, whereas the largest contentful paint takes 1.5 seconds. And then we have some other things such as the speed index and other stuff as well. Under accessibility, we have some more stuff as well. Uh, for instance, it, it gives you some specifics on what to look out for and so on. And then best practices, 
we have some stuff under it as well. So this is for the home page. Now we have two more outputs as well. For instance, we can look at the golf page one, which gives the same metrics and it gives this one instead. And it gives specifics of those metrics as well. And we see that in our golf page, the performance is a little bit better, but the accessibility is a little bit worse. And this can be seen for the booking one as well, as we see here, as we see that the booking one, the metrics are much higher for all of them and so on. And yeah, so that concludes our uh, talk about Lighthouse. I hope you found this video useful. If you liked and enjoyed the video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.